Hello folks, here is my latest setup and it's even uglier than I thought it was going to be. But let, let's start with my telescope and you'll see I've, I've got my new auto focuser on it. And one benefit of this, an early benefit of this auto focuser by moonlight is that I, I can actually balance my mount better before I had this guide scope hanging off the side which is one and a half pounds and it was kind of tricky because it's the weight is lopsided to one side but now that I've got the autofocuser on the other side it actually became very easy to balance that was nice oh can you see that plane there right over my house that's what I deal with all the time it's non-stop it's, it's amazing I don't lose more pictures than I do and uh, the next thing I want to show you is I finally have AC power running outside. I had it installed behind the house, behind the tomato plant right there. So hopefully I'll become less dependent on, on batteries because I noticed my batteries are having a hard time keeping my ZWO camera powered all night. Now it's running on AC power and I shouldn't have to worry about that anymore and I, I don't have enough power adapters yet but I'm going to get one for my mount so the mount will be running on an AC as well but I never had a problem losing power in the middle of the night with my mount so my next project is going to be to find a way to organize all these lines and, and wrap them up because this is just ugly and they're going to keep getting tangled if I if I don't find something to do with them all right. Hello, folks. It's pretty late here, almost 2.30 a.m., but I am determined to test my autofocuser tonight. And I have been waiting for the clouds to pass. Um, and they're just about gone. I'm waiting for this last bit to go away. I'm, I'm just checking the sky above with my guide scope camera and it, they're going to be disappearing in about a minute because I looked out the window and I just got to wait for this last couple of clouds to go and then I'm going to go after well, I've only got a couple hours left to image right now before this sunrise starts making the sky go bright again but I'm going to go after the Pac-Man Nebula and at least do a couple hours of HA but the point is I just want to test the autofocuser so as soon as these clouds pass, uh, I'll get going. I thought they were going to be done by now, so I'll have to come back. Okay, the sky is clear. Let's go into Sequence Generator Pro. Let's tell it to go to the Pac-Man Nebula and kick this off. Yes. Slowing the target. All right, there goes the plate solving. All right, step three. Plate solve frame download complete. Attempting the plate solve. Running the auto guider. Okay, so far so good. Now hopefully the auto focuser routine kicks in. Resuming auto guider. Setting filter HA. Hey, there it goes. Auto focusing. QL. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this graph actually means. 42% complete. 57% complete. I 
have no idea what I'm looking at. 100% complete. Is that it? Okay. Integrating. I am now capturing data. Well, that was it. We did the plate solve. We did the autofocus. I got about a couple hours left of imaging tonight. It'll probably be just HA, but I don't care. Today was just a test autofocus. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I'll be back. Here's a snapshot of my guiding right now at 0.69. I'll take it. Um, that's way below my image scale of 2.04, so um, I should be getting round stars. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, well, I stacked only the first two images that came in so far just to see how the stars were looking. So this is two images stacked, no, no calibration frames or anything, but um, looking at the stars right now, I don't know if I could have manually done that any better. These are, are pretty round stars here. So I'm liking that. So I think the autofocuser knows what it's doing. And the only thing is I have it set to um, re recheck the autofocus every 30 minutes. So I'm going to keep an eye on it to see if I actually lose my focus uh, before 30 minutes is up. And I'm going to I'll be scrolling through the images just to see if the stars get get bigger then I know uh, automatically, yep, my focus is slipping. So I'll be watching that. Okay. Hey, I am back again. And what I did now is I opened up B-Link in PixInsight. And I, um, I zoomed in on a star. And I'm going to scroll through the first seven images that came through. And let's see if the star got any bigger. So there's the first image. There's the second image. Put this here. And the star is definitely the same size. Now with my old focuser, it was so obvious that the star would be getting bigger. And, and that's how you know your, your focus is starting to slip. If it changes from frame to frame, that's definitely a problem. But going through uh, seven frames so far, and this is over a 20 minute period, I haven't seen any change in star shape. So that's good. Um, I like it. I mean, it bounces around right now, but that's due to the dithering that I have set. So, okay. I think this Moonlight Focuser is, is working the way I had hoped it would. Hello, folks. It's the next morning and all I managed to do was capture nine images. And for 27 minutes of data, the skies turned bad. And what I observed uh, last night is autofocus doesn't necessarily seem to work under hazy skies. At one point, it even failed. And when it failed, it, it just started capturing images anyway. So <laughs> if I'm sleeping and autofocusing isn't working, I, I might wake up with a surprise in the morning. And other times they tried to autofocus, and it, it didn't really seem like it, it wasn't focused after it said it was. I don't know if it's just because the, I mean, when I looked outside, I couldn't even see the stars with my own eyes. So maybe not only couldn't I see them, maybe autofocusing is having a lot of difficulty under those kind of conditions. So I, I think this, I think it works well under uh, clear skies, but I wouldn't depend on it under hazy skies. That, that's my first observation from the first night trying it. Okay, uh, that's all I got. Thanks for listening.